So, it appears to be that we actually are getting a new Saw film, probably within 2023 or 2024. And uh, according to Josh Stolberg, who is the screenwriter of Jigsaw and Spiral, he posted on social media that the new Saw film will have Tobin Bell in it, and it will be John Kramer centric, and that will also make uh, John Kramer fans very, very happy. I would have preferred the film took place between Saw 1 and Saw 2, um, but I think for the type of story that they want to tell, it might work out better than it's set between Saw 2 and Saw 3. I just felt, you know, there's more of a gap there between Saw 1 and 2. There's an opportunity for more story to be told there. With that in mind, it could be that this is likely to be Tobin Bell's final Saw film, given that the guy, you know, has played the role for such a long time and, you know, he's in his late 70s as far as I'm aware. This could mean they could do what Jigsaw and Spiral did, they'll have a new story that has nothing to do with the previous films or it maybe just reference the previous two films. What's interesting about this here is that because it's set in the timeline between Saw 2 and 3, there's a lot of characters that are dead they could actually bring back, you know, who were alive at that time. Amanda Young, Mark Hoffman, Eric Matthews. Well, I doubt we'll see Eric Matthews because Donnie Wahlberg didn't really want to come back to Saw. It means that we might get to see more development of Hoffman, Amanda, and even Logan Nelson. I really would like to see that there, but at the same time, I rather they didn't bring back Dr. Gordon, I wasn't a big fan of that their twist that they left us with in Saw 7 3D, where, you know, Dr. Gordon is willingly helping Jigsaw. I thought that was out of character. I think it would have made more sense if uh, Dr. Gordon was being forced against his will to help Jigsaw, rather than just willing to agree to do it after what, you know, Jigsaw put him and his family through and so on. But the fact that it's also a John Kramer centric movie you know, it means it might just be John Kramer on his own. But I'd, I'd say Hoffman and Amanda will at least have a cameo, you know, they'd be crazy not to bring them back. And it'd be nice to see them on screen just one last time again. Every Saw film, you know, usually takes place from the perspective of the victims who are in the traps, the protagonists. So this song maybe, going by what Josh Dolberg has said, is meant to be from the perspective of John Kramer, you know, observing the victims in the traps, even though what you do see John Kramer observing victims from the traps in the previous movies. Um, I think what they're saying is that this movie will focus specifically more on John while he's observing the victims, which I think would be an interesting, a new, a new take for the series to go. I think it'd be interesting to see, you know, how he thinks when the he's playing the game, when he's watching. Could he be thinking about, you know, if I made the right choice or I wonder, are they going to go with plan A, are they going to go with plan B, or are they going to go with X, Y, and Z? I mean, what way are they going to go? But you never really get to see what he's thinking about, you know, if he's thought that he's made the right choice in choosing these victims, or does he think, you know, oh, maybe I should have put that person in the Venus glide trap, or they should have been, you know, given their first bird trap. You never really do get that there. All he does, you know, is, is give subtle hints. It'd be cool if he had Hoffman and Amanda and Logan with him as well, and he could be using that there as a moment you know, to show them, you know, another lesson. This is why we test human beings, you know, look herself or still being even working together, or they are working together, but uh, they're not exactly following the rules, you know, you'd be giving them all pointers. I think we probably could get something like that there. So after Jigsaw, Tobin Bell did say he had an idea. He wanted to explore the tricycle that Billy the Puppet would be on. The Billy doll was meant to be a toy for his unborn son, Gideon Grimmer. We all just assumed, well I assumed, that the tricycle was just meant to be an extension of the toy. Apparently Tobin Bell had an idea where he wants to develop that further in a way that we haven't seen before. So it might actually have a separate purpose. I'm interested in seeing who's going to be directing this new Saw movie. Personally I prefer Darren and Wiseman who directed Saw 2, 3, 4 and Sparrow from the Brick of Saw. Or even Kevin Gorder, who was the editor of the first five Saw movies, directed Saw 6, Saw 7 and edited Jigsaw. He was executive producer for Spiral. I would really rather they didn't bring back David Hackle. Not that I have anything against David Hackle. You know, from what I know, he's, he's a great guy. And from watching him in the interviews and commentaries and listening to him, you know, he seems like a decent bloke. But I, I personally never liked his directing in Saw 5 and Saw 7 3D. I partially blame him for Saw 3D because he, he did develop the movie. I felt that Darren and Kevin were, you know, more in line with how the song movie should be developed. Um, with David Hackle, you know, I didn't like what he did with the franchise. He's okay as a production designer, visual consultant, he's good at that there. Like, if he wants to be a saw, I have no problem with him being a production designer. You know, the sets and all the traps that he designed and built were magnificent. Like, you know, without him, you know, the song movies wouldn't really have that look that they have. You know, I'll give him that now. I'd rather they didn't bring the Spirit Brothers back either. Nothing against them. I just didn't like the movie Jigsaw, and they personally did say they were hired guns, 
you know, uh, the script was already written for them whenever they came on set and they basically had to shoot it. Like, they weren't really able to have full creative control that they would like to find. And I can understand I'm not that I wouldn't fall for it. I did watch um, Predestination, which was another film they wrote and directed before they did Jigsaw. And, oh, it was a, it was really good. It was really good. I was really hype, happy and hyped up that they were doing Jigsaw because uh, it was very much like a Saw movie with all the twists that they had, twists and turns that you just didn't see coming. It was very well thought out and clever, but I just didn't like what they did with Jigsaw, the way that they shot it. Jigsaw felt like a fan-made movie, you know, that they felt like all the fans got together and put their money together and made a movie and landscape made a camera. That's what Jigsaw felt like. With Jigsaw, they were trying to fix something that really didn't need to be fixed, all while ignoring what really, really did need to be fixed, if that makes any sense. The right person, I think, who should direct Saw 10 would be Tobin Bell. Back in 2007, 2008, they had no director announced for Saw 8, and there's speculation that Tobin Bell might be directing Saw 8 at the time, and of course it didn't happen. So um, he even said he'd be interested in directing one of the movies. So I don't know if he would be willing to come back and direct one. I know he's happy enough to come back to play John Green, but as for directing, who knows, maybe he will. I think it'd be a good conclusion if Tobin Bell, Jigsaw himself, directed his final Saw movie and gave him the best send-off. For the character. It's very likely that this Saw film could be the final one that Tobin Bell is in, given his age, you know, and they've pretty much done near enough what all they could with the character. I mean, there's, they've explored who he is, who he was, and right now they're just, you know, tying the knot together. I think the franchise in ways has run its course, but, you know, it's still, I still love it, and so a lot of people fit the pieces into the puzzle. I just hope they make the right choice and who they want to direct the movie and that we get the Saw movie that we all know and love. You know, they're not rushing it. They took their time with Jigsaw, took their time with Sparrow and instead of trying to release a new Saw film and rush one out year after year, you know, they're taking their time now, which is what they really should have been doing, you know, years ago. Because it allows them the time to flesh out the story and make it the best that they can. I think that's all I have to say and if I find out any more information, I'll... Make another vlog and put it up. Bye bye.